Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're looking at how to convert a quick social video from landscape to portrait, or if you like, from YouTube to TikTok. So this is actually a follow-up video to the one we made a couple of months ago about how to cut down longer content into a short 15 second teaser. If you haven't watched it yet, you can find the link to it here. So be sure to give it a watch for some good editing tips and a bit more context to this video. So in that video, I created two different cut downs from the same YouTube video, which was about the British climbing champion, Shauna Coxie. Today, we're going to take a look at how to convert each one of those videos into portrait. So let's take a look at the first one. Okay, so I have that video here on my outputs page in Kamua, and to make some changes, all I have to do is click the edit button, then confirm overwrite, which only overwrites the current timeline in the project and won't overwrite any outputs, so don't panic. And now we're back in the Kamua studio. I have my timeline down the bottom and I can press play to preview the video. Okay, so because we have some movement in most of the shots and they have an easily definable subject, i.e. Shauna, we can go with one of our recommended workflows, which is auto crop first. If you'd like a bit more info on what our recommended workflows are, you can click the link to this video just here. So all we do is go to our project settings and select the aspect ratio. We'll go with 916 portrait, then select auto crop, which will auto crop the entire timeline. For quickness, I've actually auto cropped these videos prior to recording, but the first time you do it, you'll get a little process icon that you can click to process while you're still in the studio but even if you don't process it, it'll be processed when you render the video. So let's have a look at the edit with auto crop on. My name is Shauna Coxie and I'm a professional climber and this is my backyard training setup. Why you called that then? Right, well most of that was pretty good. There were a couple of shots that I think need amending and we also need to adjust that overlay a little bit as well. So I just quickly click the arrows to the right of the preview to find the clips. Here we go, here's the first one. I can press shift and space to loop the clip. Okay, so it looks like auto crop has prioritized the brightest part of the clip, which also has the most movement. So you can understand why that was selected. But I want to keep Shauna in the frame, which we can do with a static crop. So we go to our clip crop settings on the right because these will only affect the current clip and toggle auto crop off. Then all we do is drag the frame where we think it should go. And on to the next clip. And in this shot, it has selected the person on the left as she's both brighter and bigger in the frame. But we'll use static crop again to get Shauna back in the frame. So the only thing left now is to amend the size of the overlay. And to do that, we can click on the overlay and drag the corners to resize it. And if we're doing this for a specific platform, we can use Kamua's social skins to preview them. And as TikTok has the most intrusive UI, let's go with that. Then we can reposition and resize some more. And let's take a look at the converted video. My name is Shauna Coxie and I'm a professional climber and this is my backyard training setup. You called that then? Pretty good, I'd say. Right, let's move on to the second cut down. Okay, so this first section has that white copy paste style border around it. So this is the part where personal preference comes in. You might want to zoom in a little to get rid of that border, or you might just want to use fit video to fit the whole thing in the frame and then add a white background maybe. But I quite like how it looks with the frame at the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna keep it this way. And if we move on to the next section, we can see that auto crop has done a pretty decent job, but I prefer to have that overlay a bit bigger and I'll just check that with the TikTok social skin. So for this final frame, I want to fit all of the text in as well as the guy taking the picture. So if I use the slider on the right to zoom out, you can see that it's now offset, but that's just because the zoom is centered on auto crop's focal point. So all we have to do is turn auto crop off for this clip. And to help fill the frame, let's add a background blur. Okay, let's take a look. 
the most successful climber in British history and a two-time bouldering World Cup champion. So we actually bought this house because of the basement conversion so we could make it into a training space. <laughs> So there you go guys, that was a quick guide on converting from landscape to portrait. Which one did you think looked best? Would you have done it differently? Maybe you just use static crop on the entire thing, or maybe you do fit video on the entire thing, or maybe a mix and match. Let us know in the comments. Okay guys, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.